All right, good morning, everyone. It is about four o'clock in the morning. Uh, we gotta get a real early start to the day because I'm going to Yellowstone National Park. Super excited for this one. Uh, been wanting to do this for a while. We're gonna knock out this drive and we'll see you at Yellowstone. All right, good morning from Yellowstone National Park. We finally have made it. Okay, so you might be wondering how you can achieve a day trip here. Um, it's all I have time for today, so we'll show you how you can see a lot of this park in just one day. So in order to maximize your time here, you have to get up super early and be at the entrance to the park no later than I would say 6.30. 30. So I was here about six o'clock up about four o'clock to make the drive here So that is going to be the key factor in maximizing your day trip in Yellowstone So disclaimer, this is probably the worst summer to be visiting a national park, but Whatever this will be a good way to show you how you can do it even with the big crowds So depending on where you enter the park, I'd probably recommend heading to Old Faithful first to try and beat the crowds. And after you're finished seeing Old Faithful, then you can work your way back up the road towards Grand Prismatic Springs. First, I'm stopping here at Black Sand Basin. And the nice part about doing it this way is you get to beat the crowds. So as you can see behind me, there is nobody here right now. So it's very peaceful. You will have to put up with the crowds at Old Faithful, but once you get to here, it's a lot more peaceful. And then after that, make your way to the Grand Prismatic Spring. Okay, so that wraps up the morning half of your day. I spent about five-ish hours touring the lower half of Yellowstone. Did not feel rushed at all. Felt very good. Got to see pretty much everything. So after you finish up this, I recommend chill, grab some lunch, and regroup before the afternoon. All right, and then start your afternoon here at the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. There are a bunch of different lookout points, so a lot to see here. You can spend a good chunk of time exploring this place, but let me show you how awesome this is. Super cool place, right? That is the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. So you can just hear the waterfall. It's a really, really beautiful, beautiful spot. Lots of overlook points as well. And then once you're done there, head on back to the intersection to Norris Geyser Basin and walk into this area here and check out Steamboat Geyser. You can also do a couple of uh, longer hikes if you have more time. So we'll show you this. It seems to be a recurring theme with the U.S. national parks, but I always feel like when I go to them, it feels like these um, landscapes are just man-made and created, but it's all natural. It's just so hard to believe it, especially here at these thermal uh, hot springs and whatnot. It's super, super cool. And after that, we have our final stop of the day at Mammoth Hot Springs. So as you can see, it is doable to do Yellowstone in one day. It's probably not the most ideal way, but you can cover a lot of ground in this park. And it's definitely easier being alone and by yourself. So if you're with a family, it's obviously maybe a little bit more tricky and it's probably not the most ideal way to see the park, but 
yeah, it is very much so doable. And so that's a wrap from Yellowstone National Park. I hope you guys enjoyed yet again. And we'll see you shortly for the next video. We're going over to Big Sky. We're gonna do some amazing hiking over there. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you there. Thank you.